Yeah, Keegan and Megan, these body cams are a long time coming. They're a tool that the city has been wanting for years, largely to create a more transparent JPD. Now, the plan to acquire the body cams came together about a year and a half ago. Body cams are coming to JPD after many years of citizens complaining about officers using excessive force. Just this March, three officers, along with their supervisor, were fired after the Valentine's Day arrest and ultimate death of 31-year-old Mario Clark. An autopsy determined Clark died from internal injuries consistent with strangulation and suffocation. His death was ruled a homicide. Officer Sam Brown of JPD says these body cams will keep officers accountable and more transparent to Jackson City. Citizens. People behave differently when they know they're being watched. And the police are no exception. Officers wearing body cameras will be less aggressive and more respectful when they interact with members of the community. They'll be more reluctant to use force unless it's necessary. He also says those body cams will capture citizens' actions towards officers. The public has been filming everything from cell phones for years. Uh, but with the cell phone, you only get one part of the picture uh, because something had to trigger that cell phone to, be, to start recording. So with the body-worn cameras being activated before the officer gets to the scene, we'll see some footage before that cell phone is actually activated. As you can see, the cameras are lightweight and would fit on an officer's uniform. They'll also capture about 12 hours of high-definition video and audio to record any incident the officer comes in contact with. The data on the body cams will be stored on a cloud-based system for 30 days in non-evidence situations and up to a year in cases that use video as evidence. The Jackson Police Department administration will be able to access all the data captured on cam. The cameras made by the company GTAC will feature the date, the time, the officer's name stamped all on video, and the department says they will provide an unbiased account of the events. Now, the price tag for the body cams is just over $600,000. The city came up with more than half of the money. The rest came from a federal grant. Every patrol officer on the force begins training with them on Thursday, and they could be on the streets within a week. Troy Johnson, 16 WAPT News at 10.